And in Tanzania, if you ask a boy, are you Fiji? It means uh, that sentence means that maybe he has been sodomized. Other tribes, women are very cheap, but for instance, in my tribe, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Why would they say they are very cheap? They yeah, are not because we, we know the value. If you want to marry maybe a Muslim and you are a Christian, it is whether you to be converted to Islamic or he or, or she to be converted in a Christians. Nowadays, we know that to find the Fijian gays, it is very rare. We do not consider that to be an issue. Yeah, we do not consider because you know that uh, we do not consider to marry whether uh, the woman is a Fijian or not. Girl. I'll find a church Even girl. those church gay, you find that they have lost their virginity to Ari. Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Lionel Try here signing in and today I'm joined by Asiak and from Dar es Salaam Siri. From Dar es Salaam. Yeah. You said no one is from Dar es Salaam. <laughs> Where because Asi, yeah? currently I'm living here in Dar es Salaam. Why can't he say that uh, I'm coming from Dar es Salaam? You are from Tanzania, but not where like do you come from? Well, you, you know, Tanzania is a big country compared to other East African countries. Uh, so when I say I'm coming from Tanzania, maybe when I'm in outside Tanzania is where I say that I'm coming from Tanzania. But if I'm in Tanzania, I say the specific area where I do live. Yeah, you live in Dar es Salaam, but yeah. if, where do you come from? Uh, I originated from like some uh, areas in the Geta district and the Geta region. It is there alongside Mwanza, Kagera, Shinyange, Tabora. Yeah. So, guys, this is where we are. Yeah. Let's show them that uh, this is Tanzania. This place is called Mbezi. Yeah, this is Mbezi. And, uh, there are two Mbezi. Yeah, there are two Mbezi, but uh, all, of, all of them they are located in one area. The one is Mbezi Beach, and the other is Mbezi Kimara. Here is Mbezi Kimara, alongside the Morogoro Road. Morogoro, the road that goes to Morogoro. Yeah, the road, the, the road that goes to Morogoro, Mwanza, Shinyanga, Tabora, and the main regions uh, that are located the west south west uh, of Tanzania. Tanzania is beautiful, man. Not only beautiful, but it's a rich country. <laughs> Which minerals do you have here in Tanzania? Uh, a lot of things that we have, for instance, uh, we have minerals. I only know Tanzanite. <laughs> we have diamond, we have copper, we have, I think we have iron. A lot of minerals that we have. We have gas, natural gas. So, so can yeah. I get a mine or you only give to the Chinese? <laughs> uh, when you come as investors, you get a mine. It's a matter of paying and uh, comply with the regulations and laws of Tanzania. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, guys, this was just like a random video, not like uh, pre planned. Mm -hmm. Today, we're just going to talk about dating in Tanzania, dating and relationships in Tanzania. So, Mr. Enoch here is going to give us some ideas about dating in Tanzania, yeah. share some information. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to know maybe, uh, you know, like in Africa, it's yeah. kind of like the same. Yeah. Maybe we can just sit, we can sit where we are, there, or okay. there. Yeah, maybe we can sit yeah. there. Mm -hmm. These days it has been raining a lot, man. Yeah, this is uh, the amount of rain. Yeah, so like, let's start with you. Mm. Uh, did you have a girlfriend? Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. Serious, serious relationship. You've been together for long. This is now personal. Yeah, I have been with her for two years now. Two years? Yeah. Is polygamy a thing? Is it allowed here in Tanzania? Do women accept? Mm, yes, polygamy culture here in Tanzania exists. It depends with the, 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 the religions and uh, culture of a specific area. Where, for instance, when you go they are like uh, Lake Victoria or mm. Lake Zone area where uh, Skuma live, you find that they practice polygamy. I thought it was only like 
the the Muslims only because I to, I was told that like I'm not really familiar with the Islamic religion. Mm. Yeah, they say like the, they're the, the Muslim practice polygamy because of their religion, but other Tanzanians practice polygamy because it is part and parcel of their culture and traditions. In your tradition, uh, we do. You do practice. So you are going? Are you going to get one, two, or three? Yeah, I will not uh, do that because uh, since I'm um, born again in Christians, I have <laughs> left those. I have let. I have left behind those kind of traditions and uh, customs. So you are now hiding behind Christianity instead of saying you have now been westernized. No, I'm not. A, I'm not hiding uh, huh? in the Christianity because Christianity is my life. Yeah, but you've been westernized. That ideology of saying I don't want to have like, well, What polygamy. do you mean when you say that I have been westernized? Those are the beliefs of like the American, the European. So the, do do westerns uh, not at all apply polygamy? Polygamy. Hmm? I don't think it's a big thing there. Even here, it's not a big thing because uh, the number of people are not practicing, but there are people who do practice. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So what are like the roles now? within like um, let's say in a family setting mm. or maybe like let's start like mm. in a relationship before mm. like you get married yeah yeah um what do you expect like for your, do you expect your girlfriend like to do some things for you like let's say washing mm. your clothes or mm. maybe she visits you do you expect mm. like to clean the place mm. or she can only do those things when you are married as soon now she can uh, do those like those kind of things uh, it depends uh, with uh, the, the, the lifestyle of a certain kind of area. For instance, here in town, uh, your girlfriend can invest you, can cook for you, can wash clothes for you, but uh, when you go in uh, other regions mm -hmm. that are located in uh, rural areas, yep. it is rare to find that your girlfriend invest you and cook for you or wash your clothes. So it, uh, it is like, uh, it depends on the, first, first of all, it depends on uh, the culture that do you live. For us here in Tanzania, we have almost 120 tribes. And 120? It, yeah, 120, 120, 120 yeah. tribes. Yeah. And each tribe has got its uh, traditions, custom and taboos. So in other uh, tribes, a girlfriend is not allowed to visit you. Eh. Yeah, it's, it's not allowed at all. For instance, in Iskuma a tribe, yeah. your girlfriend, you cannot visit your girlfriend, and your girlfriend can, can't can visit you. Like in your private space, you only have like to meet like in public. Even, even in public, you are not allowed to, to meet. Maybe if you have entered into courtship, is where you can visit each other, and you, you do not visit you as you. For instance, <laughs> if I want to visit my girlfriend, Yes. In courtship, in other areas like Skuma, I have to invite my friend to go there to accompany me to visit my girlfriend. <laughs> so in in in, 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 so in, in, such, in such kind of uh, <laughs> traditions and the customs, yeah. it means if I want maybe to meet with my girlfriend, it means I meet with her privately and especially night. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey. But uh, here in a big city like uh, Dar es Salaam, Mwanza, Arusha, Mbeya, mm -hmm. because of uh, globalization and the popular culture, it is easier to find that uh, a boy visits her girlfriend and uh, a girlfriend mm -hmm. visits her yeah, yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get what they're saying. But like, what I wanted to know was like, mm. like for instance, here in Dar es Salaam, mm the the ladies here mm -hmm. like let's say you're dating mm -hmm. um of course she can do those things but mm -hmm. do they do it like now based on the the western ideology the women are now saying hey i can't wash for you i can't cook for you is it like that like here so like a girlfriend can come say hey uh you know you have your own two hands why should i wash for you or uh, like i can't cook for you you unless she's just willing to do it but she doesn't feel like it's an obligation that she has to do it. Do you get what I'm trying to, to yeah, say? Yeah, I try be, yeah. In, here in Tanzania, because we, we, we in Tanzania, we have been dominated by a patriarchy system. It means uh, we do consider a woman as a helper. So when you are in a relationship, 
it is easier for your girlfriend help you in those uh, domestic activities like cooking for you, washing your clothes, maybe mopping your houses and uh, making that to your environmental cleans. They do that. Does your girlfriend do that for you? Uh, since my girlfriend, uh, he she's not he, he she's not here in Dar es Salaam. It is rarely for her to do that because when I do live yes. and my girlfriend lives, are two regions separately. Ah, okay. But I hope that if we were in the same uh, locality, she could do all those stuffs. Ah, that is good, man. I think I need to find a Tanzanian lady. Because <laughs> I, I, I've seen like back home, like in Zimbabwe, mm. ladies were arguing, saying, hey, if I already cook for you, wash for you, wash mm. you in a relationship, there's no way you're going to marry me because you're already enjoying the benefits of marriage. Uh, I think that it depends with your uh, mutual relation that you have. Maybe your intention and her intentions are the same. Maybe uh, if you are using that girl like uh, an instrument of pressure that's his a problem <laughs> but uh, if maybe you have an intention yeah. and you have the goals you have set the goals that uh, up to the uh, up to the end of this relations yeah. she will be maybe my wife i think there is nothing uh, she can't provide for you mm, yeah so like if you, if you want to get married in tanzania you, you mentioned that there are a lot of tribes of course mm -hmm. i get that part yeah. But like generally, mm -hmm. like do you, I know, like in most many African cultures, people pay bride price. Yeah. Like here, what is enough? Like the um, what can I say? Mm. The amount of money, or maybe cows, or maybe whatever you're supposed to bring. Like the worth. What's the worth? Like uh, any monetary value? Like as I said, that Tanzania is a big country. Mm. It has got, I think, that allegiance and uh, almost uh, 1 in 20 tribes so it depends with the culture of a certain kind of tribe for instance when you go to other tribes women are very cheap but for instance in my tribe <laughs> don't say that <laughs> why would you say they are very cheap they yeah, are not because we, we, we know the value for instance <laughs> when you go in in in, in my tribe uh -huh. the skuma tribe in mwanza tabora and shinyanga women are so expensive because uh, uh, <laughs> they are most beautiful, they are white. <laughs> and now you're begging. You, pay, you, you can pay even 30 cows huh? as a, a bread price. So, huh? 30, how much is one cow here? Um, it depends with the size, the biggest size of cow. It may be like a, maybe uh, five lackeys, six mm -hmm. lackeys, seven lackeys, but uh, you will be paying. Uh, that uh, that uh, that that cows. It depends with the beautifulness of the woman that you are going to marry, and also uh, in paying bride price. It depends also with the religion. For instance, the Muslim mm -hmm. woman are the one who initiate their bride price. Hey. Yeah, in 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 Islamic religion, it's like that. Yeah, it is it is a girl who initiate the bride price. Uh -huh. Yeah. So now, also yeah. uh, in uh, L of bride price, it depends with the status of the family. For instance, when you are going to marry uh, a girl who is educated and she's coming from a village family, mm -hmm. so uh, her bride price will will be higher. What about my family? As well? And also, if you are coming uh, from. Uh, educated family and your fathers or yourself you are rich you will be proud if you pay the high I am bride not. price so it mm. is like such kind of things it depends there is no common but the price that we do pay it depends on your culture your traditions mm -hmm. your religion and your family status so like you know like uh, in my situation mm. like in zimbabwe mm -hmm. the in terms of religion, mm. it's a Christian-dominated country, mm. so uh, there's only a few, like small percentage of Muslims, mm. right? Mm. So uh, I just wanted like to ask now in, in the context of Tanzania, because it's like almost 50-50 the statistics, like the Christians and the Muslims. Mm. The intermediate is there. Is there a clash? Like if you want First to marry, of all, a Muslim I think woman? it's not 50-50. I said almost. Uh, almost, but yeah. uh, when you make a critical assessment, yeah. Christians exceed 
because for instance uh, you know Tanzania uh, before the independence uh, it was known as Tanganyika and Zanzibar Zanzibar is a, a small country or it was a small country is where uh, most of Muslims uh, staying there and uh, the area along along the coast Dar es Salaam Pwani uh, and Tanga is where Tanga Lind and Ibtuara is where you will find the Muslims but when when you go to other regions the Christians are dominated so I think it can be 60 yeah yeah but uh, the intermarriage the, the intermarriage is not higher because you know uh, here in Tanzania uh, the issue of religion is very sensitive mm. so it is sometimes uh, people do internal quarrels when maybe I wanted to marry uh, a, a, for instance if I'm a Muslim and I want to marry a Christian lady it means I have to convert her no you don't have to convert why can't you just leave the so, two of you, you, know, you for believe instance, in if, what if you if believe maybe in maybe here in Tanzania nowadays believe. for instance here in Tanzania, in Tanzania marriage is based on religion and uh, there is no uh, there, there is no a wedding that can be done between t between this in t between two religion so for instance if you want to marry a muslim and you are christian how you will do your part we do both we first do according to my tradition then we can do uh, according to your tradition who will give you the certifications so in that sense it means if you want to marry maybe a muslim and you are a christian it is whether you to be converted to islamic or he or she to be converted in a christians yeah, that I is understand. easy yeah i understand so the, the intermarriage is not uh, there, high like, uh, it is there but yeah. not high ah yeah. yeah yeah i think i get where you're coming from now because yeah it's kind of complicated and even like in the family mm -hmm. if you have like different ideologies sometimes you end up arguing and then disagreeing yeah for, for take an example for instance you know uh muslim do not uh, eat uh oh. Pork. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> but we as Christians we, we eat. Is it allowed? Yeah, we as Christians we <laughs> eat. Uh, there are some there are some domination within a Christianity mm. that do not eat. For instance, the Sabbath. They don't. Uh, they, they don't eat. So uh, just imagine maybe I'm a Christian and uh, my wife is a Muslim and I want maybe to eat pork and she did not uh, want to do that so i'll be like i'm um, inciting her or um like uh, discriminating so the, such we, we we do not prefer to enter in such kind of marriage that gives us challenges so like when you when, like when you let's say like the normal way like the traditional way that you're talking about like when you marry does it matter whether a girl is a virgin or not Mm, uh, uh, previously, in, uh, in, 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 in those days, it was a matter, for instance, uh, because uh, previously, be, before people to be converted into Muslim and the Christianity, it was when a girl is made to uh, the grandmothers and aunties, they will go, they will go to cross-check if the girl was a virgin or not. And if they find that uh, the girl, you know, you know, you know, you know, the previous day it was that because the marriage was done through uh, traditions. You go and take a girl, and then after 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 several days, you go to pay the bride price. So when they found that uh, a girl was virgin, it means her value increased, and uh, the bride price was increased, and they were happy that. Uh, the girl is clean but if they found uh, against maybe she is not uh, a virgin so the blood price was low and then she was not valued in such kind of family so but uh, because of nowadays we know that to find the virgin days it is very rare we do not consider that to be an issue we do not consider because you know that uh, we do not consider to marry whether uh, the woman is a virgin find or a not. Girl. I'll find a church girl. Even if this church girl, you find that they have lost their virginity to Ari. You find maybe a standard to a student. Ah, not true. You find even a nursery student, she does not have such kind of virgin. So but where do you like, find it? But here's the thing. Mm. 
why is it like it matters most like when people are talking about the women's virginity but they don't talk about the men's virginity uh, because uh, you, you can prove uh, women virginity but you cannot approve the men's virginity but so it, for it instance, doesn't change the fact that you you have already yeah so you know the mat is proving that is the matter for instance <laughs> if women could not be proven that mm -hmm. they are virgin or not yeah. they could not be uh, <laughs> a, a matter of there because for instance uh, me as a boy mm -hmm. when i reach a uh, puberty stage and then uh, my uh, sex organs start to function mm -hmm. do you really prove that am i a virgin or not even even if i do but uh, women are proven. That's why there is an issue over there. And we know mm. that uh, we as Africans, we have been dominated by the patriarchy system. So we, we tend to undermine women and to make them to be subjective for us. Mm -hmm. mm. But like for me now, let's mm. say I'm single. And, and, in, mm. and in Tanzania, if you ask a boy, are you virgin? It means uh, that sentence means that maybe he has been sodomized. When you ask someone, are you a virgin? It means if if he say yeah, actually, yes, yeah, if yeah. he say I'm not a virgin, it mm. means we mean the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah maybe she, he has been sodomized. <laughs> but I hear that I don't know how to offer true mm. this. Mm. I heard that if they catch you with someone's wife here, mm. they can actually uh, do that to you so that uh, you don't do it again. To embarrass you, to humiliate you. Uh, for, for if you have uh, caught, uh, uh, do such kind of of acts. Uh, maybe you have taken a somebody, somebody one's wife. Yeah. Uh, they can maybe kill you. They can maybe uh, beat you. Is that or serious? They can sodomize you. It depends with the. What will uh, you do? It, it depends on the, the, the situation. For instance, you enter in uh, a family, uh -huh. you enter maybe in uh, a house of such kind of man, mm. and then he, he found you there. Yeah. So it really depends with, with your strength and his strength. And sometimes maybe he, he, he come with other people because maybe he has a prior information that his wife Okay, let's say you things. catch me somewhere, not in, inside your house. I'm not promoting immorality, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand mm -hmm. how it is mm -hmm. uh, like. Mm -hmm. But let's say you found me maybe in a, mm -hmm. a lodge or a guest house mm -hmm. or a motel there. Mm -hmm. You still disturb me? Yes, because I, I will disturb you because I'm the one who I own that mm -hmm. wife. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and we all know that as some who, <coughs> who, 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 who uh, commit a crime, Loses confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Is that proven? Scientifically proven? It cannot be maybe scientifically proven, but obvious we know that when you commit a crime, mm -hmm. you lose confidence. So yeah. that's why you find that are being so demonized or beaten or killed. For instance, for instance, uh, when you are doing such kind of thing, you do not think that maybe I will be caught. And mm -hmm. when you are being caught you, there, you are caught you, while you are naked. Uh -huh. So it is very easy for me to sodomize you because you are naked and even to beat you. And sometimes people have uh, prior knowledge that Lionel is dating with someone's wife. So they, they start tracking you to see when you are you going a to make uh, a mistake. And then they go like uh, a gang. To I apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you, you are. You but are, actually, you, uh, your, your apology will really correspond with your acts. <laughs> Why can't you just move on? Let your wife cheat on you. Just forget about it. You know. Mm. Otherwise, you end up going to prison for killing me, and you spend your life in jail. Just let it go. Uh, if you break up, you break up with them. But killing me or doing something... You, you know, me. when you, you enter in a marriage, there are certain issues maybe. Maybe we have maybe four kids. We have, uh, we have such kind of uh, development that we have achieved. So when you think about, the, when you think about uh, break, breaking up your relationship yeah. or your marriage, you think about where do your children will go, 
uh, your investment you have done. It's like, like someone has already ruined your life. Yeah, and uh, and remember that uh, maybe your wife is you, you still you st you still love her your wife. You are not uh, ready to break up, but uh, she's cheating you. Can you forgive your wife if she cheat on you? It depends. Uh, I can. Hey. I, I can. <laughs> I can forgive. Uh, I, huh? I, I, I can. Yes. It, de it depends maybe how many how many times yeah. she has been cheating me. Maybe maybe want. maybe cheating me at once. You will never forget that issue. I'm telling you. Uh, yes, I cannot forget, but I can uh, forgive her. Uh, yeah, and break up with her. Forgive and continue staying with her. Uh, for instance, if she said that I'm sorry, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was maybe. Uh, a cause of uh, so and so and so and so. I'm sorry, my husband. Uh, I won't uh, <laughs> commit such thing once again. again. Yeah. And remember that maybe you have four kids. Mm. You have several issues to do. Yeah. And first of all, you have to ask yourself. Maybe since you entered in such kind of relations, yeah, you have not cheated here. Yeah? No, men are allowed to cheat. Isn't it? Uh, in, 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 in African tribes, in African... No, I mean, I'm polygamous by nature. That's yeah. why I was, to, I was talking to you about uh, polygam. Uh -huh. uh, it has never been accepted for a woman to have so many... Polygam, po polygamy is the same with cheating. Hmm? Because poly no, polygamy yeah? and cheating is not the same. Polygamy it means maybe... No, I was, I was just trying to explain to you that as men mm. are attracted to uh, so many women. Th th that's why in African uh, traditions or in uh, Islamic religion, if you are attracted by a set kind of a woman, you have to marry her, you bring her to your home, not to cheat. Is the same in African uh, culture. So you want me to marry every woman out there? There is a limitation. For instance, in Islamic, mm -hmm. you are allowed to marry for yeah, but as a man, you mm. must admit that as long as you walk out that yeah. gate, even if you uh, fall inside the house, you If you know that uh, a, a, a man can cheat, uh, if, if you know that a man can cheat, uh, put, in, put into your memory <laughs> that even a woman can cheat also. But women can easily forget. You understand? Mm. And if you cheat on her, she can easily forget. Uh, for instance, uh, you marry the first woman cheats. You, you you get separation. Mm -hmm. You marry the second wife, mm -hmm. and then it cheats. You will separate with her. The third, the fourth. How many women are going? Are, are you going to marry? Why would I marry someone who cheat on me? You know, you know, you know. Cheating <laughs> has got many factors. Maybe you are not performing well your acts. You know, uh, men are sometimes are stressed. They have mm. got some diseases. Maybe you are not performing well, and she needs to be uh, to mm. be satisfied. In terms of that, like the diseases, how is it, like what? like maybe you have diabetes, yeah, and you are not performing well. You are uh, <laughs> like in or, bed. Oh yeah, and you maybe you are both in a certain company. For instance, you are too busy. Every time you are busy. You come, I, I right? think there, there's a problem when you say maybe you are not performing well, because like for example. Yeah, for instance, if you get diabetes, it means uh, you are uh, let's say energetic, like, let's say I'm not uh, doing well uh, in bed, uh, right? Uh, uh, it's not that. I think it was meant for reproduction to make babies. It's not for enjoyment. Uh, so if I enjoy during the process, that's me. But I'm not supposed at least to to do it to please anyone. It's for making babies. That's all. Uh -huh. It's for reproduction. So I, I don't think that uh, you can say that I'm weak in, in, in that aspect.